Welcome to Idea Basics 3, the Vessel Database. The Vessel Database can easily be reached via the related menu entry, Open Database. Inside the Vessel Database, you can find all related technical information about your superyacht. It has a related structure, which allows you to go from domains into groups into components, inventory, and documents and pictures per group. Please note on bigger vessels, it might make sense to activate subdomains, which are in between domains and groups, to get all information handled. This is necessary on vessels in a size of 60, 80 meters, and above, depending on their complexity. Let's talk about this group which is filled with sample data. As you can see, you can expand the components, as well as the inventory and the documents and picture section. To see more details, you have to click on the component itself. The Description tab contains all important information about your component. Name, type of equipment, critical or non-critical, manufacturer, supplier, type, etc. Please note, there are various types of equipment which can be defined by the vessel. In this instance, major and class relevant. In a later tutorial, we will show you how to define these types of equipment in the settings section. Also, the decision of whether something is critical or not critical can be done here. Manufacturer and supplier can be chosen by a simple drop-down menu, which is related to the address database. The Cover Picture tab allows you to upload a picture for a component when this is necessary, for instance to identify the component immediately or if the component is hidden behind a panel or inside a cupboard. The Location tab allows you to find the component at the general layout here even with a quick tip on how to operate the location indicator. Please note, this can also be used to find several other components with a location indicator set on your vessel. In the Manufacturer and also the Supplier tab, you can find all detailed information, including necessary phone numbers, email addresses, or a related web address, for instance for a dealer's list, etc. Within the Items tab, you can link items out of the same group directly to the related component. Below, you can see a filter, in case you have more than just a few items for a component. This filter is necessary for a superyacht engine, for example, which has normally 200 or more spare parts. Within the Periodic Task tab, you can find the core of the Maintenance Management System. Here, you can define by adding a task when a related maintenance interval should be due or done. We will show you how to do this in detail in a later tutorial. The One-Time Tasks are similar but, as the name suggests, are due just for one time. This will also be explained in one of the later tutorials. In the History tab, you can see the historical maintenance executed on a component, and the attachments allow you, similar to the Item tab, to attach information directly to a component. This is very important with bigger vessels, for instance, as these vessels have to handle a lot of information due to more related rules and regulations compared to vessels below 500 gross tonnage, which are not related to full ISM. Thanks for watching this tutorial. As you can see, there is also inventory and documents and pictures, which will be explained in the next section. Thanks for watching and have a good day.